YouTube and hello viewers and welcome back to yet another episode of creating our online community project. My name is Wayne and I've been taking you for all these amazing episodes currently with our online system. Uh, thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. I mean a lot of you are sending me messages and etc. Um, and you guys are really inspiring me to keep going and I, I really want to thank you guys for that, you know, for the inspiration and um, now people are wanting to work with me and that's really cool um, and, and that's what I really wanted for this channel and especially because it's a community based project I really wanted the community to get involved um, with this project so where we left off on the last session is we actually got the login system working I left you with some homework to complete I'm not going to go over the homework just yet I'm going to do it at the end of our online system so after this video um, I'll release another one uh, which will go over the homework section so we're going to look at the PHP code again um, but yeah, we'll finish off the, the login system today. Uh, so we're going to check if they've got a registry key and things like that. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. So as I said, where we left off last time is inside our widget blueprint. We pretty much set the login button so that we'll get uh, information for our URL. Uh, for example, locations and what we wanted to grab, for example, usernames and passwords and etc. And then obviously we, we, we applied that URL and then basically we just did a, a very quick check uh, to see if the user, sorry, let me just close down my Steam before loads of people pop up. So you can see that if it was a, a success, so the results of that PHP stream was success, then obviously they would be able to log in. But we want to sort of make it a little bit more difficult because anyone could log in now if they've got an account, but they don't have um, a registry key. Now, before I even start talking about this, that reg key we pre-done, we already put that into the system. What would normally happen is inside that register page that you've got, um, you tell them to put that key into the registry page. You'll check against your database to see if that key exists or has been used already. And then you'd put that into the database. I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff at the end. I mean, I know everything's not secure, um, but I'm just trying to get the system working first and then we will work on security um, in future videos to come. So don't panic about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add um, just one more node into here um, to see if the CD key is valid. Uh, so we're going to be putting that in. Um, and then we're going to just finish off this section here uh, where we want to um, store some information into our game instance. So we want to store things like, as you can see here, this RK, we didn't have a user key. So we want to set a user key um, for that user when he logs in. And that's obviously his um, registry key. So we need to set that up somewhere down here. Okay, so let's get started. So we've already gathered the information for the result being a success. Let's just open up the our files. So let me just open up Notepad++. It should already be in there for us. That's not what we're looking for. So let's open up what we're working with, which was gameinfo.php. And basically we looked at things like the login, so this bit of information here. Now, if you have been doing your homework, you'd be working in this section. Okay, so that's just a bit of a hint I'm going to give you. Um, so you should be working in here. But what we need to capture is the reg key. So we want to capture this bit of information. So let's pop back into our project. Uh, this one here. Okay, and we're going to drag off this node and we want to get the field. All right, so we want to grab a field. And that field name is what's in the notepad. So we want to see if they've got a reg key. And you can see we're going to grab the reg key because it's here right? and we're actually getting it from the database. So we want to grab that and make sure that there is something there. Right? So as you can probably imagine, there's going to be a boolean somewhere along the line here. So that's called reg key. I, I don't know if I copied that. Uh, let's just copy it again just in case. So we're just going to copy that and paste that in. Let's paste that into that field there. So just to make sure they've got a reg key. We're going to turn that into a string. It's easier to work with things if they become a string for us. And the return value, we're basically going to work out um, if they have got a reg key or not. Now, the easiest way to do this I have found is that we're going to drag off this node and we're going to say equal to equal to. All right. So we're going to say, well, if the reg key equals nothing, because we don't know what the key is. I mean, there's so many different keys. What's the point of putting every single key into the system? It's absolute madness. What we can do is we're going to say, okay, well, if they haven't got a key, right, then we need to branch. So let's just branch off into this section. And we're going to put a condition in. All right. So if they haven't got a key, right, so if they haven't got a key, um, we're not going to do anything just yet. So 
we can just print a string for debugging. So let's print a string and say, um, you don't have a key. You don't have have a key, right? So they don't have a key. So that's just going to be a debug message for us. So if they don't have a key, then do something. But you'll notice that we've got our login system working here, all right? So what we're going to do is just take these debugs out. Right now, remember if the success was true, we want to go into this branch, so our next one, okay? And obviously, they're going to have a reg key, so we're going to come off this false statement here, right? So we're going to come off this section. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cast, so we're going to cast to our game instance because we want to actually get the key for the user. Um, and as before, our object was the game instance, so we're going to get the game instance, so get the game instance. So we're going to grab that information. Um, I'm so messy with my nodes and stuff. I do apologize. Some of you are probably like, "Ugh, Wayne, what are you doing? Um, this is awful. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to get the key. So let's go back to our game instance. And we called it user key. All right. So that's what we called the variable. And we want to grab that one. So we're going to come off this node. We're going to say get. Uh, what do we call it? I've just forgotten user key. We're going to come off here actually and we're going to say get user key. All right, so we're going to get the user key. Oh no, not get, sorry. It's been a long day. Set. So we're going to set the user key. All right. And basically we're going to set the user key to this value. So the string here. So we're actually going to drag off and plug that in. Let's clean this up a little bit. So let's double click on the node. Stick it there. Double click here and stick this down here. Just a little bit cleaner. So basically we're just setting the key if they have got one. So that's all we're doing is we're just going to set the key um, and then make sure that it will plug into the user key and we can then use that. Okay. And what we can do then after that is we can say, all right, well, if that's working fine, let's just print a string. So let's print a string. So print a string. And what we're just going to say on this string here is just say, um, still working. So this is just some debugging that we're going to work on. So it's just still working. So let's test this out. So compile and save um, and let's play. Actually, we want to we want to do two tests. We'll, we'll do um we'll do the first one. Oh man, wrong maps open. Um, open up our main menu map. Very important. And let's try. So test two and test two, I think I had as defaults. So let's log in. So it should say still working because I have got a key um, and everything is viable in the system. So that's fine. That is working for us. So let's go ahead and let's take a key out. So let's jump into my PHP admin. Um, let's make a pass. Uh, my password should be true for this database. So we're going to log into the PHP my admin. We're going to go into the database. And we're going to go into the users table. And let's edit test two might as well let's just edit that so let's edit test two and i'm just going to take the reg key out so i'm just going to double click um and just remove the reg key so i'm just going to take that out okay so now you can see the reg key is empty um there's nothing there so we're going to do a test again um on test two without the reg key and let's see what happens when we do that so let's log in and we should get a different message saying you don't have a key. So basically, we can limit the user from not accessing um, the game if they don't have a key. So that works perfectly fine. So let's test on, on another user we've got here. So let's um, do tooth tooth. Might as well. Let's try that one. So tooth and tooth again. So let's log in. And it should now still say still working because I have got a reg key um, and that's working fine. Everything's working as we want it to work, so that's perfect. Okay, so let's just close that out. Uh, let's go back into our Unreal. <laughs> now, what we want to do next is we want to continue working off this section. Okay, so we want to carry on working off it. And let's just see what the um, user key is. So let's just again, let's cast again. So let's just cast the game instance. Now you don't have to do it this way. There is many ways you can do it. You can actually just drag into it to print the string. Um, but I'm just going to cast again. Um, I, I think it just, it's neater for me if I just keep casting all the time. So I want to get the game instance. I just want to get the game instance. 
and really I just want to print a string off here so print a string and I want to print off the session key so get session go, uh, so user user key All right so I want to print that off I also then want to print off let's see if we can get the username so let's print off the string and let's see if we get the username as well so let's try that so um, get username let's see if this works so plug that in so basically I'm just saying um, if we are successful get the user key and also the username um, and let's just check if that's working so it should print the values that we stick in so let's log that in and hopefully it will print the key but we're not getting a username I'm slightly unsure why that is get username why is that not working so cast get that username let's go back to our game instance because this is where we gain the information from so get user information that should set everything as a game instance URL info page they should have a key oh because we haven't run the script again that's why we're not getting that um, it, it, it's not running the username yet so we, we'll come back to that section um, in a minute so let's actually delete that out because that's not going to work as yet so my bad so now that's working and we got the the key working what we can do is for testing purposes why not let's um, drag off here and let's just stick a delay in um, so a delay um, you can make the delay of let's just say two seconds okay now here is up to you what you want to do um, you could then and we will do in the next few sessions we're going to make another widget that's going to have um, the server lists and all sorts of weird things for now but for now you should have um, a test map that we can use so if we open level and let's open up the uh, let's have a look what levels we've got so click on content filters levels and we've got this third person example map here so let's um let's choose this map and let's go back into the widget and just paste that into there now you could have used the execute if you wanted to but in this case we're just going to use open level and what should happen now is that now everything's working how we want it to work with the user key after two seconds it should now take us into our next level so let's just see if this is all working so tooth and tooth because we can't use test two now let's see if that works we get the key that comes across that's good and now we actually inside the game instance itself okay so inside the level so what we're going to do let's have a look at, at our time what are we on 12 minutes so yeah get that working and that's pretty much how we're going to get our system to work so really we just did um, a check to see if they had a registry key if they don't have a key then obviously we're just going to print off a string now normally what you could do is you could actually um, print onto the design if you wanted to you could do that um, so it'll show them that they don't have a key instead of printing in the corner uh, again this is your system you do what you like we just testing and making the system work and then all we did is we just grabbed the user key to see that it does exist so we are getting the correct user key for that user and then obviously we just wanted to print that off just to check um, to make sure that it was working correctly and then basically we're just going to open level now we're going to remove this in the next few in the next video because we're actually going to open up a new widget um, which is going to be all our server stuff and um, where the user will be able to join servers and look at friends and chat to people and all sorts of weird things like that all right so that pretty much concludes that session nice and short for everybody i hope you did enjoy this um, episode basically we just had to finish it off and make it work remember you guys have got homework to do I will cover it in, in maybe the next session maybe the next one after I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna do it in yet um, but yeah that's pretty much the system so if you did like the video obviously hit that like button if you really like my channel hit the subscribe button and if you really 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 want to support the channel there's a donor link just above as you can see don't hesitate to drop a donation All right, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next episode goodbye